hey everyone welcome back to my channel and today i am back with another tutorial so first thing i'm gonna do is apply this gel black polish by la palm and we're just gonna do that on all 10 fingers Alrighty, so after you do the first hand, we're going to put it in the LED UV light to let it cure for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other hand. And once again, this is a black gel polish by La Palme. Alrighty, and also whenever I'm polishing the nails, I always like to keep a little dapping dish and a brush to clean around the cuticle area because you want your work to be really, really neat. You don't want that polish on their cuticles. Alrighty, so we're going to cure for 30 seconds and then we're going to go back and do a second coat on both hands.
Alrighty, so now I am going to go in with my non cleanse top coat and I'm going to apply this one to the nails that will have the chrome. So that will be her index finger and her thumb. And then we're going to let that cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with my Broadway nail art paint and the color white. So I'm going to draw my lines and you can draw whatever lines you want, but I usually just do four. Then I dab one with a little brush and some acetone and then I redraw my lines again. This time a little bit lighter or a little bit thinner. Once again, I dab my lines with acetone and then I'm gonna go back in and redraw them so I do have a video on how to do marble nails so I'll leave the link in the description but it's pretty easy you just draw your lines and dab them with acetone and you kind of want to just keep doing it until you get the look that you want you will never have two nails to come at exactly the same but it's always the same process so remember just draw your lines dab them with acetone and then redraw your lines again dab them with acetone until you get that look that you want okay so now we are going to do the holographic chrome so you dip your little sponge into the chrome and just rub it onto the nail and since i'm just doing an ombre i'm just doing it on the tip and just kind of fading it in in the middle so remember you want to focus on that tip and then just fade it up like in the middle of the nail and that is for the ombre effect so then we're just going to do a top coat on all four nails and we're going to cure them for 60 seconds Alrighty, and for the other hand, since I already have the chrome out, I'm going to do the same thing. Just apply your chrome with a sponge. And I know they also have the little silicone pins that you could apply with, but I think it's easier if you just use the sponge. So this is a little makeup wedge uh, from Dollar Tree. You get like a 24 pack for a dollar and they come in handy because these are the same ones that I use when I do my ombre nails. So once again, you just dip it into the chrome and just rub it onto the nail. And then now I'm just going to do my marble nails on this hand. Once again, I do have a video on how to do marble nails, so I'll leave that link in the description.
Alrighty, then I'm gonna go back in and apply my top coat on this hand and I am using the IBD non cleanse gel top coat and you can find it on eBay so I'll leave the description in the link or the link in the description and then after this we're gonna go in and do the rhinestones on her pinkies and I do have the black rhinestones available for sale and I'll also be restocking on the rest of my rhinestones pretty soon so please bear with me but then we're gonna cure this for 60 seconds Alrighty, so I'm gonna apply my glue and I'm using my Me Secret Nail Resin and I'll leave the link in the description as well. I'm using my wax pencil to pick up my rhinestones and I have these black rhinestones available for sale on my website if anybody is interested. So yeah, we're just gonna do a full nail of black rhinestones and sorry that my camera is so shaky. She had her nephew with her and he was kind of throwing a fit. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just fill in the whole nail with rhinestones. And as you can see, I always like to go around the edges with the rhinestones and then I just fill in the gaps in the middle. So once again, I do have these available for sale on my website as well as more, but I haven't got the chance to restock, but I do have stuff on the way already. So please bear with me. Alrighty, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other hand. I'm going to apply the glue all over the nail and then I'm going to fill in the nail with rhinestones. Once again, we are doing a full nail. So I do the glue on the whole nail and then go in and apply my rhinestones and I'm using the SS6 and SS12. And yeah, I'm, so I'm just going to fill in the whole nail. I'm going to do the edges first, so around the whole nail and then fill in the middle as I go. Alrighty, so this is the final look. I hope everybody enjoyed. It came out really pretty. I am totally in love with that holographic and that marble. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos to come.